Hey everyone, in this discussion, we will going to learn about algorithm. So, what is an algorithm? In computer programming terms, an algorithm is a set of well-defined instructions to solve a particular problem. It takes a set of input and produces a desired output. Think of an algorithm as a recipe that describes the exact steps needed for the computer to solve a problem or reach a goal. For example, we've all seen food recipes. They list the ingredients needed and a set of steps for how to make the described meal. In computer language, the word for a recipe is a procedure and the ingredients are called inputs. Your computer looks at your procedure and you get to see the results, which are called outputs. Some good qualities of an algorithm are Input and output should be defined precisely. Each step in the algorithm should be clear. An algorithm shouldn't include computer code. Instead, the algorithm should be written in such a way that it can be used in different programming languages, produces desired output. The general flow of an algorithm is Start, declare variables, initialize variables, perform operation, display output, and stop. Algorithm examples. We will now create an algorithm for the sum of two numbers. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Declare variables number 1, number 2, and sum. Step 3. Read values for number 1 and number 2. Step 4. Add number 1 and number 2 and assign the result to sum. Sum will be equal to number 1 plus number 2. Step 5. Display sum. Step 6. Stop. After learning what is an algorithm, we will now move on to the complexity of an algorithm. So, what is the complexity of an algorithm? The complexity of an algorithm is a measure of the amount of computing resources, such as the time and space, that a particular algorithm consumes when it runs. If an algorithm has to scale, it should compute the result within a finite and practical time, bound even for large values of n. Analysis of an algorithm's complexity is helpful when comparing algorithms or seeking improvements. The complexity of an algorithm is also called complexity or running time. Did you know that some computer scientists use mathematical measures of complexity that allow them to predict, before writing the code, how fast an algorithm will run and how much memory it will require? Let's now move on to our next topic, which is Big O Notation. So, what is Big O Notation? Big O Notation is a way to describe the speed or complexity of a given algorithm. To simply put, Big O Notation tells you the number of operations an algorithm will make. Big O Notation is a simplified analysis of an algorithm's efficiency. We can use Big O Notation to analyze time and space. There are a couple ways to look at an algorithm's efficiency. We can examine worst case, best case, and average case. When we are talking about Big O Notation, we typically look at worst case. For example, assume that you are a teacher with a student named Durian. 
you want to find the records. So you use a simple search algorithm to go through your school's database. You know that simple search take big O n times to run. This means that in the worst case, you'll have to search through every single record represented by n to find Rian's record. But when you run the simple search, you find that Rian's record are the first entry in the database. Big O notation focuses on the worst case scenario, which is big O n for simple search. We are now going to learn a type of an algorithm which is dynamic programming. So, what is a dynamic programming? Dynamic programming is both a mathematical optimization method and a computer programming method that was developed by Richard Bellman in the 1950s. Dynamic programming is a technique in a computer programming that helps to efficiently solve a class of problems that have overlapping subproblems and optimal substructure property. There are three steps in finding a dynamic programming solution to a problem. Step 1. Define a class of subproblems. Step 2. Give a recurrence based on solving each subproblem in a terms of simpler subproblems. Step number three, give an algorithm for computing the recurrence. Dynamic programming example. Let's find the Fibonacci sequence up to fifth term. A Fibonacci series is the sequence of numbers in which number is the sum of the two preceding ones. For example, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Here, each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. So the algorithm will be, let n be the number of terms. If n is less than or equal to 1, return 1. Else, return the sum of two preceding numbers. We will now calculate the Fibonacci sequence up to the fifth term. The first term is 0. The second term is 1. The third term is a sum of 0 from step 1 and 1 from step 2, which is 1. The fourth term is the sum of the third term from step 3 and second term from step 2. The fifth term is the sum of the fourth term from step 4 and third term from step 3. Hence, we have the sequence. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Here, we have used the results of the previous steps as shown. This is called dynamic programming approach.